Just build your own server. This thing allows me to have 20 terabytes sitting somewhere other than on my desk. I can access it from anywhere and have full confidence in its security. Also, this is the budget solution. It just takes some patience because you have to do it yourself. Your video files eat up space, and even if you're organized with your folder structure and labeling of drives, there's still too many and it gets confusing real quick. I know I get lost real quick with what project folders are sitting on what drives. Not to mention, you will at some point lose a drive to failure. The standard solution is one large accessible unit, NAS. You take all your data and put it in on one system. NASs are, or should be, on everyone's list of data utilities as far as content creators go. They're just stupid expensive for sad millennials like myself. Hmm. But if you're seriously pumping out content, data solutions are inevitabilities. I mean, this clip is 5.3 gigs. Cloud services are safe, but it costs too much for me and it's somewhere else in someone else's hands, likely selling that data to who knows. Enter serverbuilds.net. This community is all about sharing knowledge when it comes to building your own server slash NAS. Guides that are on there are very handholdy and take you through every step. And a large motive of theirs is budget friendly. Here's the specific guide I followed for my server. It's literally called the NAS killer. So I bought a processor, a case, a fan, another fans, a cables, a drives, a RAMs, a motherboard, nerd, nerd, nerd. This took me an hour to build, six hours because I forgot to plug the power cable into the CPU. And the software OS that ties it all together is known as Unraid. So what does an Unraid server do that a pre-built NAS doesn't do? Honestly, there's too much. This rabbit hole goes deep. If you're into self-hosting, media centers, home automation, home lab, dive in. For sake of time, I'll just give a quick overview of the server's dashboard. You can see the health of the drives and space you have left. This parity drive holds the data to rebuild a drive should one fail. That's my failsafe. You could have two parity drives that allows two drives to simultaneously fail if you're feeling extra safe. Once a drive or two die, Unraid gives you the freedom to plop one back in and Unraid will rebuild it per the parity drive. Also, you can mix and match drives to your heart's content to build the array, as long as your parity is equal to or larger than your largest drive array. This is my cache pool, which are faster drives and will move their data to the array periodically. For example, when I'm throwing things on and off the server, they'll go here first. Then a week later, or whenever I choose, the server will clear the cache and store it on these drives. This allows faster access, as well as allowing my main drives to spin down due to being not used, further extending their lives. Consumer NASs don't allow these freedoms. I bought five 4TB drives off eBay for cheap cheap. As I approach filling that up, I can just buy some more and slide them in as I need them, at a much cheaper rate, obviously. And let's say I'm 100 terabytes in, no more physical room, I can have an automatic transcoder compress my footage to a more manageable extension. For now, I'll keep my immediate projects on this SSD since the dang files I'm working with are 6K 12-bit raw behemoths. Once I'm done with them, I'll package them up and throw them on the server. Some people have made their servers fast enough to be able to work off. I'm just not there yet. But just so you know, it's out there. Here's a self-hosted cloud that's on my server using the space that's on my server, and I can access it from anywhere. It's just like Dropbox or Drive, but it's free. There are even other alternatives. Look at this little monstrosity. It's a NAS that flies in speed, and if you're interested in other alternatives to Google services, Linus has a series going on right now that's called Degoogling Your Life. Yeah, I know about the 3 2, 1 rule, but I simply can't afford that right now. I feel safe enough for now. I just wanted to make a video talking about a common problem for video creators and the solution I chose.